before Comic Con happened last weekend, you could have argued that I guess the biggest trailer that was going to be released, that whole convention, and the one that people were waiting for the most was the Aquaman trailer for uh, multiple reasons. Number one, it is the DC movie that a lot is going to be writing on because at this point in time, the DC movie universe is in a bit of a low period because they just had their last movie, Justice League, was financially and critically it underperformed. And all the other DC movies of the recent era, except for Wonder Woman, have been critically panned. They made money though, but you know, it's been there's been bad news for every DC movie except for Wonder Woman. And people were thinking that they really needed to turn things around. And people were looking to Aquaman to see if Aquaman could turn things around. You know, this first trailer would be a really good first impression. And people were going to be judging this and, you know, going over it really, really closely. That was one reason. Another reason is everybody knew Aquaman was coming out. So there was a lot of anticipation. Like people wanted to see this trailer like, you know, last month or two months ago. They were waiting for it for a while and there were times when people thought that they would have already seen it and they didn't see it. And so there was a lot of build up and anticipation. Like, I want to see it. I want to see it. And then we finally got to see it. And from what I saw, from what I was able to gather online, the people I talked to in person, for the most part, the trailer went over very, very well. Of course, there are people who want to be nitpicky and there's a lot of anti-DC people and haters who are going to like, you know, look for reasons to poke holes in this movie from the first trailer initially. But I think that Aquaman had a good showing from what happened at Comic-Con, you know, what people saw, that footage. And I think this is a good, you know, first initial step in, you know, several steps that are going to be more trailers and more things released as we get closer to the release, I guess, in December. Now, what did I think? I felt it was obvious from Aquaman, the way the trailer looked, that James Wan and everyone's going for just an epic high adventure kind of feel. I mean, we have, there's a lot of action in this trailer, which means there's a lot of action in the movie. There were all these different locations on land and below in the water, you know, a lot of sweeping you know, locales, so we have fighting action in different areas, you know, globe trotting under the water and above. It felt like, you know, there have been articles before in the past saying that Aquaman, I've read some that it was going to be like Indiana Jones underwater and others that it was supposed to be like Star Wars underwater. And now I can see what they were talking about. Like those movies were high adventure movies, <clears throat> you know, Star Wars, Indiana Jones in the past. And I think Aquaman is in that same kind of tone. You know, it's going to be a high adventure movie, you know, all over these places. I thought everything was beautifully rendered, you know, the visual effects. It's a very VFX heavy movie as a movie that takes place largely underwater would be. Now, this is where the nitpicky stuff comes in from a lot of people. I've seen people saying, oh, the effects didn't look that great or whatever. I don't know what these people are talking about. I thought the effects looked great. They look just as good as other things like in Thor, Guardians of the Galaxy or Infinity War. You know, I'm like, those were very VFX heavy movies with a lot of green screen, but you don't see people talking crap about those. So, and Aquaman, in my opinion, looked just as good at those. The only criticism I'll have is, I haven't spent enough time underwater, I guess, you know, swimming or snorkeling or stuff. But, you know, there's a lot of characters shown underwater in the trailer. And they would swim or move underwater. You didn't see any kind of drag in the water or friction. I guess when you're underwater, does that stuff not show anymore? Maybe... That was accurate for them not to show it, but I would expect, you know, there were no water ripples or anything in people's wake, as you would expect when people are moving underwater. And a lot of times it didn't even look like people were swimming. It looked like they were flying under the water because, you know, that's just the way it came off. But again, those are minor things. I mean, I don't think that made the movie look bad, and that's not going to keep me from, that's not going to stop me from watching the movie. I don't think it's going to make anybody else stop watching the movie. So, you know, I was into it. I liked what I saw. I thought it was very lush very, you know, exciting. It looked like that's what they were going for. And, you know, I hope that, that things go well for Aquaman. I think they could. Now, I'll just go, like, by character by character, I guess, or just talk about some of the interesting people in the movie. You know, there is Jason Momoa as the big star as Aquaman himself. Jason Momoa plays Aquaman, and this trailer highlights everything I think people want to see from Jason Momoa as Aquaman. And expect from his, I guess, reinvention of this character. He definitely comes off as Aqua Bro. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way. He's very bold, very brash. You know, I think Mara makes a comment to him that, Joe, you know, you do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all or something like that in the trailer. They're definitely, you know, playing up the fact that this Aquaman is a very blunt, 
instrument. You know, which is the way Jason Momoa, I think, comes off his image. I don't know Jason Momoa personally. You know, he, I don't know if he's really like that, but I know that's the persona he kind of puts off on a lot of his appearances in the movies that he's in. And I think that is what intrigues a lot of people. When he was announced, when Zack Snyder cast Jason Momoa as Aquaman and Warner Brothers cast him, a lot of people were like feeling that choice. I mean, Jason Momoa was well known, fairly well known and well liked before he became Aquaman. And so I think people were digging it. Like, ooh, Aquaman, they're reinventing Aquaman. And the thing is, if you read the comic books, Aquaman actually has been a pretty aggressive character in the comics, in his own comics in the past. A lot of people don't know that, though, because they don't read Aquaman comics. And also because even though Aquaman has been the way in the comics, as, of, as you know, have what, with what happens with other long-term characters, Aquaman has been written different ways over the years in the comics. And there have been other comic books where he has not had that personality. And there's people who've read that version of Aquaman and they didn't know that Aquaman can be very rugged and aggressive too. So, you know, this isn't exactly, this is actually an accurate comic book portrayal depending on when you, what year you read Aquaman in the comics. But, you know, I think that this trailer gives people exactly what they want from Jason Momoa as Aquaman. And there's also a curiosity factor. I think people are like, hmm, Jason Momoa is Aquaman. Let's finally see, you know, how he's going to embody that character. And I think he plays up, it plays to his strengths and to people's expectations very well. We had Amber Heard as Mera, and she looks fine. I mean, I know people are making a big deal how she's going to be tough and stuff. We didn't really see that in this trailer because, I mean, she's okay. I mean, she's kind of just in it. But one of the things that struck me was how fake her hair looked. <laughs> like, the whole trailer in and of itself looked really good, but Amber Heard's hair was, like, obviously a wig or obviously, like, bad dye. Her hair was so red. It's like... From all the redheaded people I've seen, their hair is kind of, you know, like a deep orange. Her hair was so red, it was like ruby, like a rose. And I don't think anybody's hair, redheaded hair, is like that red. It's like so red, it's like Crayola red. <laughs> it's like that was not her real hair. Nowhere close. And, you know, but I mean, that that's okay. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm still gonna, the movie can still be great. I'm not trying to knock the trailer of the movie for that, but it was just totally like... Like, that is not anybody's natural hair. <laughs> I mean, that was stunning. Black Manta. Black Manta just looked spectacular. We only saw a little bit of him, but what a comic book accurate portrayal. Like, he looks exactly like he does in the comics. But uh, the actor Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, right, is playing Black Manta in the movies. So we see him mostly in an outfit. Maybe it's not even him. It could be a stunt double because Black Manta has this giant, weird-looking helmet <laughs> and a bodysuit, so it could be anybody under there. We did see a glimpse of him, you know, before he put the helmet on earlier in the trailer when he was in that ship with other pirates and Aquaman came in. I think that was the same scene. Sometimes the way these trailers are edited, it looks like people are in the same area, but when you see the movie, they actually weren't. So it could be they were in a ship, a submarine at two different times, but whatever. The way it looked is that Aquaman was coming in that, you know, sub with, you know, Black Manta in his pre-Black Manta days. That was the only time I think we saw Yahya Abdul-Mateen II in, you know, the flesh. And then when we see Black Manta later, he has his helmet on and, you know, he's in his bodysuit and he's firing that beam at Aquaman on the surface. And he looks fantastic. I know I've read that Black Manta is supposed to be in this first Aquaman movie a sub-villain, whereas Ocean Master, played by Patrick Wilson, is the main villain. I hope, though, that Black Manta, as he sh however much he shows up in the movie, he's awesome and awesomely realized. I have, because people, people are expecting a lot from Black Manta and... The people who know him know what a like magnificent villain he is. I mean, I have faith. I'm not saying James Wan won't deliver on that, but I hope he does. I mean, I, I, I really think so. Black Manta is one of my favorite villains and favorite comics. And a lot of people like Black Manta. He's cool. And so, you know, I hope he really comes off as like the amoral, vicious, fearsome, I don't have any emotions about, you know, killing and doing bad things character in the movies as he does in the comics. And as for the main villain, Ocean Master, he's in this trailer. He's underwater, of course. I think every time we see him, he's under the water. And unlike Black Manta and Yaya Abdul-Mateen, Patrick Wilson is Ocean Master. He has his helmet off. In the comics, Ocean Master has a pretty... You can see the bottom of his face is exposed, but he has this giant, like, big helmet. We don't really see him with the helmet on that often in this trailer, or at least not enough where it obscures him. It's obvious this is Patrick Wilson. And he does look good. We don't really see him do much. I mean, other than give speeches and everything. But it's really interesting what a contrast he is visually to Jason Momoa. I know they have the same mother, but 
yeah, these are guys with definitely two different fathers because they don't look anything like. And it definitely does kind of hit home the juxtaposition that, you know, Aquaman definitely is, even though he's Atlantean, he's a different kind of Atlantean than his royal family. Because Nicole Kidman, who plays his mother, and Patrick Wilson are both very, like, you know, super Caucasian looking. And Jason Momoa is not. So it's going to be a huge contrast, you know, to see these two half-brothers just visually. I know they're going to be enemies in the movie, but even right out the gate, these are guys from who have two different gene pool things going on here. Patrick Wilson looks great, though, don't get me wrong. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.